Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Avedon 2. We are about to enter this abandoned workshop. Um, okay. We only have one tiny room and it goes down immediately apparently. We get a free lockpick too. Nice. Oh, what? Thanks Kalita for just walking off and apparently triggering these runes on the floor. Uh, they flash with a brief burst of sickly green light. You smell ozone, your hair stands on end. You hear machinery kick in somewhere in the darkness. Moments later, you hear the sounds of stone feet tromping down the stone pathway. The sound is echoing from some way away, but the feet are getting closer. Awesome. I mean, not that I could have avoided that to begin with, but... <laughs> Still, that's... Uh, I mean, if that had been anything actually avoidable, I would be a little bit pissed at her, but oh well. Now, there is a book on this pedestal. It is a ledger of sorts, describing the projects that were in progress in this workshop and their results. Most of them are mundane stuff, uh, routine improvements, and turret and mine design. All of these projects are marked as concluded success, concluded failure, or transferred. Only two projects, projects are marked as still in progress. One is automatic short-term construct generation. The other is automatic non-sentient mine layer prototype. Really convoluted terms, but oh well. There are no notes indicating uh, what these projects actually are, but you can kind of guess. Yeah. So automatic generation of short-term, <coughs> automatic short-term generation of constructs. Yeah. So a uh, like, kind of golem factory, although well, construct factory. They are not called golems here. As well as automatic non-sentient mine layer prototype. That sounds a annoying, if nothing else. We'll see how bad they actually are. Okay, we got a turret there. Hmm. Chosen's Trove quest. Point of interest is down there. So I guess I'll first go north. Oh, hello. Bulky constructs. Okay, those are those look like grey ogres. Okay. Mildly resilient. Okay, we're we are far away far enough away from that turret to not be affected. It's very nice to see. Okay, damage they deal is absolutely manageable. Oozing construct. Awesome. Who would build constructs in the shape of spiders? That's just not right. Also, interestingly, constructs capable of magic, although it might not be magic. Oh, nice. Might be a kind of mechanical construction or contraption that produces those ice cone attacks. Okay, that was actually very easy. So the uh, first construct was kind of... Oh. Uh, your machinery in this is air briefly stings of ozone, so that means more... Constructs have been generated and sent my way, probably. So I'll have to uh, fight my way up this corridor and uh, disable them. Deactivate the machinery, I assume. Kalida for taking care of the turret when our Tinker Mage couldn't. Um, let's hope I have enough time to regen some. Yeah, okay. I'm good. Oh, can I look through this grate interestingly? Oh, we got the same kind of uh, enemy arrangement again. So the spider, both the spider and icy construct are not uh, are nothing to worry about really. Wait, what? Oh, why was he out of? Uh, why was he out of action points? Oh, hang on a second. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, I guess the fight had probably already started, and I moved without really realizing. 
That's okay. Um, so yeah, uh, both icy construct and you're not the bulky construct. What? Or maybe it is a bulky construct actually in different shapes, huh? So not the same arrangement. It's not a, an oozing construct, but just a spider-shaped resilient one. So bulky means they are pretty tough, but none of them deal uh, too much damage. So it's okay. Oh wow, actually... Oh yeah, never mind. Icy construct does not have a ton of hit points. to I guess stun this one and it worked I don't know maybe the, somehow the spider feels a bit more squishy but maybe that's just my imagination Yes, if I know, it's annoying. Means I'll have to take care of her before anything else. Oh wow! Well. You hear machinery in the distance? Okay. Also, the shock turret didn't act this turn. did this turn. That's okay though. Should be able to regen hit points since there are no enemies in sight yet. One more tick. Thank you. Okay, there come the next ones. Okay, this time we got an ogre-shaped or even titan. No, I guess it's an ogre-shaped uh, oozing construct. That's fine though. The bulky ones are the ones that are annoying, despite the fact that they don't have uh, any kind of magical special attacks. But the other ones are just so squishy. And those quickly taken care of. got one more turret that we easily disarm. Nice, nice. Making good progress here. Oh, actually, huh, yeah, this is, uh, we're actually moving right towards the center of this facility. So now I wonder what would have happened down this path. Maybe we wouldn't actually have been able to make any progress there. Okay, a wretch construct? Pretty large for a wretch, but okay. And an ogre construct. Hmm, interesting. Those are both new types that we haven't seen before. Let's wait for them here. Oh, okay. Wretch construct. Really weak. Ogre construct, also pretty weak. And of course... I drew uh, its attention. Hit, please. Uh, well, and completely forgot to check before, but I'm not assuming that they drop anything. Okay, this looks kind of significant. We got uh, this, well, more ogre and wretch and an oozing, so they're all pretty harmless. I haven't actually seen Ogre or Wretch Construct attack yet, but I don't expect them to be too difficult. We'll take care of this one first, just so it doesn't do anything nasty. There 
There we go. So, what is this chain? Oh, this is where they get summoned, huh? But I don't see anything to deactivate it. Maybe just stepping into this circle is enough? Let's see. Arachnid? Okay, now we get an arachnid construct that actually looks like an arachnid. Nice. Just in case the arachnid construct is capable of using any kind of poison or something. Take that one out first. Ah, you have found where the stone constructs were coming from. And apparently that's enough to make Kalida level up. Congrats. Uh, they were being generated in this magic circle. The power from the crystals assembling the rocks into short-lived defenders to be thrown at you. When you reach the circle, the power fueling the machinery runs out. There is a puff of smoke. The crystals grow dark. The thing burns itself out. Well, that was easy. Speaking of easy... Oh, actually, these Razor Flingers deal non-trivial damage. But that's about it. Is there another summoning thing going on? Ouch. Okie doke. Doesn't seem to be anything else to do around here. Get some stone blocks, I guess. Those are the raw material. Yeah, those are the raw material for the golems. Yannick is actually surprisingly good at taking out um, constructs for some reason. Who are you? Mine layer. Oh, that's the mine layer construct. Yeah, of course, I've been hearing about that. Is it gonna come? Not yet, anyway. Huh. The stone construct is far larger than any of the others you have encountered so far and much better made. It still walks confidently, and big chunks aren't constantly falling off of it. There is a huge leather pack on the thing's back. As it lumbers toward you, mindlessly bent on destruction, it reaches back and pulls something out of the pack. It's a mine. Okay, but it hasn't laid a mine yet. Okay. Stun it. Stun resisted. Um, attack it. Okay, there, there's the mine. It's actually perfect. Tantra was still there to disarm it. Uh, just because I'm not using it very much. Icy lands. Ah, actually, okay damage. Okay. So long as you're only kicking back the leader, that's fine. Nice. Very, very nice. Easy peasy. You try to turn this wheel, hoping that it will open the nearby gate. It doesn't budge. You examine the mechanism, hoping to figure out how to unlock it. It is too complicated for you to make sense of it. Huh. You take some paper and charcoal and make a rough sketch of the mechanism. Basilia might be, might be able to make sense of it. Really? So I need to go back to her to ask for help. That's annoying. I mean... Again, I'm a Tinker Mage, so was it really too much to implement a special uh, a special case scenario here? Uh, you know, to to acknowledge the fact that the player has a Tinker Mage in the party. Maybe I'm just not as good as Basilia is. I suppose that's what I'm supposed to take from that. Wow, she has 333 health. That's kind of crazy. Really no need to I feel no need at all to put any any points into endurance for her. Instead I'm gonna make her even stronger. Now what was I going to increase here? I 
I guess all of these... All this middle line of skills is pretty nice to have. And uh, couldn't hurt to have more off. Although... I mean, Triumphant Roar is pretty good. Could make, start making my way up there. This is at maximum. I guess I want to increase these to the maximum level first before I do anything else. And it should be 8 for these as well, I think. So one more point in here, and then I'll start making my way up here. Yeah. Seems, seems okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with more damage here as well. And, um, oh, wait, I have never actually used his new Searing Spray ability. Which I'm going to level up to three right away. Completely forgot about that. Maybe I wanna... I mean, Lightning Wind is... let's see... Uh, 47 to 131... Yeah, this deals better damage. And also causes... I mean, this causes Weakness Curse, but I really never use it for that effect. Or, yeah... For that extra effect. So I'll put Searing Spray there. Doesn't mean that I can't use... Um, lightning, if I want to. It's just that things that are on my hotbar are so much more likely to get used, just because they're I'm, I'm reminded of their presence. Okay, let them come to us. I guess they were busy mining out these, this shaft further. looks like a dead end. Alright, so we need Basilia's help for that, that's unfortunate. But, uh, of course I'm going to at least take a look at this end of the tunnel. This side of the facility. Before returning. Or before, before going outside and talking to her. Way we are greeted by a wretch construct and more turrets and ogre and arachnid constructs and an ice turret. Oh, oh, ice turrets. Okay. Speaking of which, of course, we are just in range. Go figure. Um, okay, I will actually reach this. Nice. Should I challenge, I guess? And then try my new spell on them? That will most likely cause at least this one to run for Yannick, but we'll see. No, maybe not. Challenge actually worked. Okay. Well, since he's not able to... Oh, another dead end, of course. Since he's not able to uh, run to the other turret, might as well do this. And uh, you use this. Yeah, not able to include the turret. That's okay. Oh, really? Well, have a lightning wind in that case. Nice, I wasn't even expecting it to take out the spider. That's all the better. You run and take out this thing, you take out this one. Nice. And we get a 
chest as a reward. Some money, a lockpick, always nice. And a runestone. Oh. Okay. Fair enough. Also, I think we'll level up. So, let's go with more endurance, I guess. It does have the lowest endurance of the entire party. Right? Even Yannick has, has 15, I think. I can always go for better damage later, but I feel 15 is, uh, is a good value to have for the time being, so... Uh, I could, pu uh, could put more points into tool use. That also makes uh, his disarming of mechanisms more effective. That might, that alone, that aspect alone might come in handy in the future. Or I could start building up my freezing turret even more. Or my turret craft. And there, there are so many good things for Tinker Mages, I feel. Even these are probably pretty good, but... Yeah, I don't know. Probably didn't even need to put a point into that. Okay, what am I gonna do? Max out this one? I think it maxes out at 6, or maybe it does not. I don't know, maybe it's 8, I don't know. Uh, you know what? I think I wanna do this and start working my way up these trees first. Oh, no, you know. Wait. Oh, this is already at max. Never mind then. And I cannot put a point in that, of course. Yep. Oh, this is also probably something I put. I should put more points into. Hmm. You know what? Why don't I do that first? I am cons or I used to be complaining about his melee damage not being amazing. I guess it's my own fault for not prioritizing. Oh, grabbing this potion. No, not prioritizing putting points into that. All right. This is the Tinker Mage, right? Yeah. I guess I make a quick cut. And here we are. Hey, Basilia. Uh, Basilia chats with you as she repairs the, am the ammunition feeder of a turret. Stay out of its path, uh, out of its path of fire, please. If it goes off accidentally, I don't want Redbeard mad at me. Oh, well. I'm not sure he would even care too terribly much. Um, so I found a locked gate in the workshop. Here's a drawing of the look of the locking mechanism. Basilia eagerly takes your sketch. Hmm, crude, messy work, but I should be able to decipher it. Clever lock design, full of secrets. Give me some time. It will take a few days to figure out how to crack this thing. At least, I will be entertained. She waves you away, sits down and gets to work. Um, okay, so this was supposed to be a m multiple, um, multiple part quest. Any luck with the lock? She looks at the piles of papers on the desk. See that mess? That's what failure looks like. Give me some more time. I'll crack it. Okay, well, in that case, I guess I'm moving on to the, to my actual main uh, towards my main destination here. The, uh, what was it called? Fort Farsight? The Abaddon Border Fort? Uh, yes. There we go, yeah. Fort Farsight. Right on the border of the Taiwan Empire. Okay, no greeting text yet? That's unusual. Fort Foresight North. Well, can't be that secret if it's if there's a sign pointing toward it. What's this? Some sort of fruit, some crops. Ah. On the other side of the river to the north you can see Fort Foresight. 
It is one of Avedon's few outposts outside of the Black Fortress. Few outposts? Didn't Xenophon say that there are multiple of these? Avedon's budget and manpower don't allow it, don't allow it to maintain many forts outside of its headquarters, and those rare outposts are always used to watch sensitive areas. For example, Fort Foresight is on the border with the Taiwan Empire. I mean, yeah, we, we come from one of those forts, right? Like Rockridge Keep, is, isn't that the same thing? Even though it's not on the outer, outer borders, but in a conflict zone in the, in the middle of the pack. Hmm. The fort is neither large nor particularly impressive. The walls are rough logs and, and even from here you can tell that it is understaffed. How can I tell that? I don't know. Still, it is here that you can learn where to go to search for Deleuze. Hopefully. That's what I've been told anyway. The road up to Fort Forsyth is lined with poorly tended crops. They had enough workers to plant them, but not enough to really make them produce. The scarecrows have been coated with a thick, contemptuous layer of guano. <laughs> Always a good sign. Or perhaps they stayed away because of the wretches. They think they're being sly up there, hiding in the crops and the undergrowth, but no servant of Evadon could possibly miss them out there. Odd. Seems like a lot of them. Okay. Wretches. Haven't seen those in a while. Red Raiders. Okay. Only. Cool. Is that the one that noticed me? Probably. Let's have them come at me. Oh, of course we got. Um. Hmm. Well, I don't know if he's a shaman, but he's not wearing a or not wielding a visible weapon, so that always. Um. Screams Spellcaster, if you ask me. Maybe he's just the, the leader of the pack. No, no, he's a shaman. Nothing to worry about, though. Not too much, anyway. Stun him, maybe? Yep, he's stunned. And almost dead. Oh. Okay, why don't you attack this one? And you we'll take this one as well. Oh, well, in fact, you finish him off. Yes. Oh, well, there goes a cleave. Never mind. Easy peasy. Oh, potion of recovery. Sure. And we got more here. A wretch assassin. And another shaman that's actually called shaman here. Thanks for clear labeling. Appreciate that. Oh, shaman noticed us. The others were still oblivious. Um, shoot him. I guess you shoot him as well. You target all of them because they should be aggroed anyway. Nice. Critical hit. Uh, sure. Well, go ahead and heal the guy. Move here to stop him. Still shoot at the shaman though. And you might be able to... I think shaman is included in the cone, right? Sure is. Hasn't resisted though. Um. Well, so I'm gonna be able to reach him. She might. Yep. I see a assassin after Yannick. Looks like it. But I'll ignore that for now. Oh no, he was not. Or maybe he changed his mind. Oh, in that case, Tantor takes care of that guy. Oh, what? He's not dead. Okay. He's slowed and can't reach him. It's annoying, but... Oh well. He didn't bother to heal himself. 
Maybe he couldn't. There we go. Also really easy. Oh, got more coming? No, those haven't seen us yet. Or maybe he's the last one left. Who knows? Okay. We we'll have to go around this way. Of course, we'll have to l take the long way around. Why would there be a bridge or ferry service here? Um, you know what? I'm going to end it here, though, because there seem to be a lot more wrenches on the way. And uh, we're already at the optimal length for an episode that I've arbitrarily uh, decided some time ago. Um, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button and leave a comment. And I shall see you real soon. Till then, have a wonderful time and bye-bye.